Yeah, good people. Um, greetings. Okay, this is Nyaku TV. Wherever you're watching from, first of all, I'll urge you um subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the subscription button. After that, just click on the notification bell so that anytime a video is posted, you'll be notified. All right. Um there is um I saw a news circulating on social media. I think it was something about uh, Kevin Taylor. We all know the loudmouth who seems to think that uh, the best way to express himself is always insulting or disres disrespecting everybody who is not supporting um, his uh, his preferred uh, is a political um, party or political candidate, a party candidate or the person that we all we all know he support that is a uh, former president Mahama. recently there was this e levy we know all this e levy going on the blue are going on on social uh, all over in ghana especially and i think uh recently the majority leader celebrated his birthday and there was a cake i think someone presented to the majority leader and the cake um has inscription or it was made like this e levy form you know and it became something like the talk of town and people were even angry like you know ghana ghanaians how we are very sentimental and emotional especially concerning this e levy stuff that uh, even the government is struggling because it seems many simply don't understand the whole e levy thing they think that uh, because people are just doing propaganda about the whole issue people don't understand and you know every country when they introduce a new tax it always comes with a whole lot especially we know the times that we in we are in hard time and people are struggling to make ends meet we must all accept that and it's not only in ghana it's a world phenomenon it's, it's something like it's happening all over the world so um to cut this short the majority leader got this cake. The cake became like a talk of the town. People were saying he's insensitive. There's a whole lot. And I think there was a news in town that uh, the cake was um, actually um, donated or the NDC, the minority, someone from their side, gave that cake uh, to the um, majority leader to just... Um, together to celebrate his birthday and it came out that was the news that was trending so i think nanaba namwa and uh nanama uh nana uh sewami here i think many people not only them i even saw most of this mpp sympathizers saying this cake came from uh, like someone from the minority but the majority leader should have been smart he should should know the time that we in i understand each and every at, at the opinion or views that people shared. But, you know, even when Nanaba posted it, she has since deleted the post. So I don't know why Kevin Taylor sat on his platform and instead of talking about the real issue, she went personal to attack the lady like, you are 60 years and you are not married. As, it's like, he's doing as if married, getting married is like something... That is a sort of achievement or when someone is not married, is not married, and then it seems like, yeah, the person is not nobody or stuff. You know, I don't get this point. And I see some people just support him just because he's speaking for their party. This sort of nonsense is what we all must speak against, especially when a man always attack a woman with, with without reason. Because, yes, she posted it. And if you disagree with that. It's no problem. Why do you attack her personally? You know, some people are just empty head and they they, they, they like, they, they, they've been given so much prominence so when they sit behind um, a camera and on social media or they sit in their comfort zone, they think that they are finished so they can disrespect everyone on this set. We should not allow such nonsense to continue. Kevin Taylor, I'm telling you, that lady is very intelligent regardless of what you see and what this lady have done for a lot of Ghanaians, especially the needy 
you have not done even half or half. Half is even too much. Three quarters. Oh, let me see. My quarter. Yeah. You have not even done even uh, 0.1% uh, uh, 0 of what Nanaba and Namwa has done for many people. She has imparted lives. We've seen a lot of people in the streets that Nanaba, through her effort and help, now they are somebody. At least they are making ends meet. You sit behind the camera, always feel rubbish. And some of the youth are just not serious. They don't even think about themselves and they are supporting your nonsense. I'm telling you, in all your family, your family members, none of your sisters or those you have dated, the ladies that you have dated, none of them, when it comes to intelligence and beauty, they come, no, they come nowhere near another. Why? We have allowed you to fool too much and we Ghanaian give prominence to any, to say, sorry to use this words, any idiot. So someone, everyone thinks, yeah, I'm somebody, I'm somebody. No, we shouldn't allow this to continue on. If you disagree with someone, why do you attack her, attack her personality? As if marriage is something like, if uh, the, you are mar mar married, then it means you have the whole world or what? Come on. Nanaba is uh, almost 60 and she is not married. And what is your problem? Nanaba, even Nanaba is not even 60. Even her sister, yes, and Nanaba is looking this good. Then thank God. Then she is blessed. But I know Nanaba is not 60. She is in her 40s. And she has always uh, saying this. And people who, knew, who know Nanaba know her age. So at the first place, you lied. And that has been your hallmark. Always sitting on a platform. And you think those gullible people who follow you, always they just um, like anything that you throw about you know they just take it as uh, the, the, the truth so you can spew whatever no we shouldn't allow this nonsense to continue why who are you are you the only person that why even then this is the person who funded it is it's even no more how long have you been an NDC member in a small thing that the person you disagree with the person you come and sit behind your platform and start you will start disrespecting the person. Why? What have you done for Ghana? Tell me what you have done for Ghana. What have you done for Ghana? At least we have seen Nanaba helping the needy recently. She just um uh, I think um uh, they inaugurated um a foundation that is going to help the needy. What have you done for Ghana? Tell us. Tell the whole Ghana. What have you done? Nanaba is beautiful and intelligent than your entire, your sisters, and the ladies that you have dated in your life. No one, none of them comes where, comes near Nanaba in terms of beauty and intelligence. So, Masa, let us think. You think you are, you are staying in America so you can spew. If you are a man, go back to Ghana and always spew that rubbish that you have been spewing on, on that your platform. Think that you are a man. If you are a man, you think you are a man. Always disrespecting people for sharing their opinion. Why? Who are you? Are you God? There's a saying that empty barrels make the most noise. And you are like that. You make no impact. No impact. Always lying about people, disrespecting people, denigrating people, thinking that you are you are in America. So even America, those who who, who, <clears throat> who discovered it, they are they are they are they are um their family in America, even them, they will not do that nonsense that you have been doing, thinking that you 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 own the whole world or what. So because of you, no one can share his thought, his or her thought in Ghana, because you are Kevin Taylor, such a twat, and we have allowed you to always. So, so I'm telling you, you you will do whatever. You will come nowhere near Nanaba. Nanaba, God will continue to bless her because she is um, what God has uh, given to her. She's using the same thing to help a lot of the needy. And you think you can destroy her or what? Who have you been able to destroy? Tell me, since you started your nonsense, who have you been able to destroy? And I'm telling you, this word there is, is round. And all what you, I've been saying this and saying it all the time. You will see, you are going to pay for your bad deeds very soon. You will see. And that nobody can save you. That your wickedness that you've been spewing, trying 
as much as inciting people to hate people for no reason and you think God Almighty will forgive you. You will see. God is real. And everything, everybody that you have done against mankind, you will, you will pay it accordingly. You will pay it accordingly. Nanaba is intelligent, beautiful than your entire, uh, 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 the woman in your family. She's beautiful than them. Continue attacking people. Your time will come one day. 